2001 Subaru Legacy. Uh, this is the GTB E-Tune. So they did two different versions of the GTB, um, which is your two litre twin turbo, 265 brake horsepower cars. You did the normal GTB, which was no stereo uh, and a few things stripped out of it, or the E-Tune, which had a stereo, uh, a few more options like aircon, um, and slightly different final drive on the gearbox so that it had slightly better fuel economy on motorways, things like that. This one, obviously, as you can see, is a wagon. Um, it was brought in by the current owner. He brought it in direct from Japan in 2001. He's owned it ever since. Um, it's on 63,000 kilometers, so that's about 38,000 miles. Um, we'll start by having a look at the bodywork. If we look down this driver's side, you can see it's nice and straight all down there. On this front wing and quarter, it's all nice and clean. It's a lovely deep metallic blue, you can see there. The arch itself is lovely and clean. Uh, standard wheels, standard brake setup. It does have four relatively new Michelin Pilot Sport 4s on it. It's a really good tyre choice, obviously, sign of good ownership. Um, this, you can see the sort of side skirt on the bottom. That fits nice and straight. It's not wonky or anything like that. Driver's door is lovely and clean. We've got a, a bit of polish there. Ignore that. Nice and clean going all the way down there. Got a little stone chip just here, as you can see there, on the rear driver's side door. Um, and a slight scuff in the in the lacquer just there. Very, very faint. If we're being really picky there, to be fair. And then underneath, you can see, lovely and clean. It had some light under seal when the car came in. It's been kept off the salt and the ice ever since. It's lovely and clean underneath. Rear arch, it's lovely and solid all the way around. There's not a sign of any corrosion there at all. Really, really good. Another good wheel and tyre. Michelin uh, Pilot Sport 4. Again, like I say, they're matching all around. They were all changed the same time. Which again for me is a really good sign. Very little scratch just there. Got tints on the rear, three quarters of the windows. And it does have this sort of aftermarket, but I'm believing genuine Subaru one piece window deflector. It's a really nice piece to get that. Going up onto the roof, you've got no, no stone chips at all on that pillar, lovely and clean. Same story for across the screen. You've got one little one there. Roof itself, lovely and straight all the way back. You've got this nice little hump here as well. Lovely and clean all the way along. All the rubber on the uh, running boards, nice and tidy as well. We do have this little ding here, which you can just see there, um, which an interesting story. I can provide pictures if you want. Um, aluminium firework canister on its way back down to earth. Managed to find the find the roof, much to the owner's annoyance. I can understand why. Spoilers, all lovely and clean there as we come around up the back. Bumper corners are all nice and tidy. You've got a very small little scratch just there. For being particularly picky. And then again, so the B on GTB stood for Bilstein um, because it's got Bilstein um, suspension set up on it. So dampers and all that sort of stuff. So it does ride lovely. I have briefly taken it down the road. It drives really, really well. Lovely and clean underneath there, as you can see. All this large rear light section is all nice and clean. There's no cracking or any signs of any moisture in there. Again, if we look at that passenger side, nice and straight, no ripples. It's not full of filler or anything like that. Got some of the standard obligatory Japanese car stickers in there as well from when it's been on the road in Japan. This rear arch, lovely and solid all the way around. Another clean uh, wheel in Michelin Pilot Sport 4. And again, same story, side skirt, lovely and straight. Under there, nice and clean. As you can see, inside the arches are lovely as well. And down this side. Again, out this passenger door, lovely and clean. No sign of any marks. The colour is gorgeous on this car. It's really, really nice. Quite often see legacies in sort of dark reds and golds and things like that, but this blue is really good. Front arch, lovely and clean. Got a very slight little mark just here. It's in the lacquer rather than in the paint. And then round onto the front. Standard Subaru, so it could do with the headlights being polished. They're not bad, but they would benefit from a polish. So you've got the C-Tune badge here. Bonnet itself, it's got a little bit of um, crazing on the on the uh, intercooler scoop, uh, which pretty much every Japanese one I think I've ever seen does the same thing, um, just from the heat, standard stuff really. And you've got a small ding just here, and a couple of watermarks which we haven't really polished off, which we'll we'll get to. But again, you can really see that colour from there as well. Move around on the interior. So again, the GTB's got stereos and things as well. It does have 
uh, quite an expensive double din Kenwood unit in there. Don't know if you can see that, it's a bit dark in here. Um, but we do have the original one in the boot as well. Standard legacy mats. This door card's lovely and clean. Driver's seat. Off a bit of dust there from one of us jumping in and out. We're ignoring that. It's lovely and clean. There's no sign of any wear at all on that bolster. It's nice and firm all the way down. No sign of any ingrained dirt. Steering wheel, again, lovely and clean. And like I say, it's really sensible mileage on this one. Normally you see them on 120, 130,000 miles. Just knock that ignition on. 62,437 miles. Start up while we're going as well, might as well. Um, so like I say, it's 38,000 miles. Um, same owner since 2001. You can see no warning lights on there as well. Going round into the back. Lovely clean door card. All the door shuts are lovely. There's no sign of any wear or anything on those. Backs of the seats are good. They've not been kicked or abused. Rear, rear bench is lovely and clean. The carpet set's clean. In the boot, we've got this fitted mat again. Original stereos in the new stereo box. We've got a spare air filter and he has got an outdoor car cover there as well. Um, which is probably why the body works are clean if it's been kept in the cover. We've got this retractable dog guard here as well. Uh, and also a proper pull out load guard. Now, normally these things on a car of this age are saggy and horrible, but that's lovely and tight all the way around. All the glass is nice and clean. Quite often on these legacies and things like that, pillarless doors they end up scratched, but it's really, really good. I shut the door. Door checks there, all nice and tidy. Headlining is good as well. No sign of any, any wear or anything on that or any marks. No funny smells in there, no sign of any moisture. And then passenger seats as good as the driver's side, really, really good. No sign of any wear on the bolsters, as you can see. Well, there, uh, I'll show you the exhaust there. So there's nothing coming out the back there now. We'll have a look under the bonnet. You got lovely and clean in here. Strut tops, everything nice and tidy. It's all nice and clear. It's got the correct um, model code on there, so it's a BH5C5CT. Bit of a mouthful, but that's what confirms it as a GTB E tune. Like I say, two litre twin turbo, uh, 250 odd horsepower, so it's not going to be slow. And of course, four wheel drive. It is cold, but we'll give it a little rev, not going to rev it too hard. Again, as you can see, no sign of any smoke or steam or anything coming out the back. So there you have it. Subaru Legacy GTB E-Tune Wagon. If you've got any more questions, please get in touch. Thank you.